Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am showing you what I got from Armageddon Auckland. And um, we'll start with the merch first. So um, this I got from a place called uh, Super T-Shirt Warehouse. They, they were actually all over the place. And it was a, a Nightwing T-Shirt. Yeah, Nightwing T-Shirt right there. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Um, not... Shirts aren't really that, you know, good quality, but I like the design. Um, really simple. This other one was like an impulse buy. I have a lot of um, Jurassic Park t-shirts, but this one was a, is a uh, Charizard Park, if you can see that. It's a Charizard silhouette there, it says Charizard Park. Established 1996, when uh, Pokemon was, uh, I think that's when Pokemon was uh, launched or something or whatever. Um, this next one is actually a hoodie. I am a uh, Star Wars fan, but um, I got this one. It's the Starfleet Academy one. Actually, San Francisco Earth. <laughs> All right, it's actually it's actually pretty comfy. I am um, I got one size over because you know it's just more comfortable for me. And um, yeah, let's move on to the. Well, the other merch that I got, toys actually. I got this one. It's a uh, Black Series, the 40 year thing. I don't know. It was $10. It's Luke Skywalker. I was like, oh, oh for Luke Skywalker, oh, 10 bucks. Like, I'll fork out. This was actually the first thing I purchased. And um, I really wish they had the, the old Obi Wan, you know, Ben Kenobi, and the uh, Han Solo, because um, these look pretty cool. Detail on this isn't as good. That's why probably nobody, nobody probably is buying them. But um, I guess it's good for like a cheap collection. I don't know. Might as well, right? Um, next, I found this from another random store. Yeah, it's a uh, Gundam Converge um, Goof Custom. As you know, I love the Goof Custom. That's my favorite mobile suit ever. I like my Mono Eyes over my Gundams. Yeah, it's uh, 15 bucks. Uh, pr pretty good. I mean, they're they're relatively cheap to collect. Um, it's just that they take so little space. If you want like a small collection, you know, I recommend you get one of these. Um, let's actually put the stuff, put Luke over whatever. Um, what else? What else did I get? Um, yeah, so these ones, these ones I got from Mighty Ape. It's um, gear frame. I'm sorry. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam G-Frame Series 5. So how these work um, is you actually get uh, an F-Box and an A-Box. These are like $10 each. You can actually purchase them separately. But if you purchase an F-Box, it's just going to be the, like, whatever is here. So it's, like, so it's, you know how real great Gundams are? You know, or Master Gear Gundams where they have that whole um, inner frame? That's basically it, but they... Made it a little bit small. I'm not sure what scale these uh, these are. Um, and um, for the Series Five, I think you can get the um, San Andrew Stein and the uh, Unicorn. Yeah. So uh, it was only a Zaku left, and then Zaku was the only one I wanted. I wish they had a Goof custom one, but apparently, um, I think I, I need to do some research. But this actually, um, there are different series for this. For every series, there's only three. So you got the frame with uh, Zaku weapons and everything. And um, this is the um, um, armor, or the yeah armor. So basically, these are pieces you chuck into this one. Um, to make the Gundam. So $20, not bad. Actually, really good collection, uh, piece to collect. Um, if you can actually collect them all, um, I might actually start doing that because these are relatively cheaper than buying Gundams, honestly. Um, yeah, they are relatively cheaper than buying Gundams. And I'm um, only, um, I only like the 1 over 144 with the high grade ones, especially the, um, uh, Universal Century ones. Um, next, what's next? Uh, yeah, I got the, um, uh, Batman. I'm not sure if this is a con exclusive, but it's, uh, the 80 years special edition. It's red. I hate red. Red is, um, I, I, I despise red. I, I hate red, but this actually looks pretty cool. 
Um, plus it's a special edition, so, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for Batman, so, yeah. It's actually, uh, actually pretty good, but this was, uh, this was my day, this was like $22, so, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty sick. Um, the first store I actually went to was Vagabond, uh, Vagabond Games. I've, uh, I've had really good relationships with those people, um, for the last couple of years, two or three years. Maybe. So I got a Sinanju. Oh, is it too big? Sinanju. There we go. So, um, this is one over one four four, fifty-five dollars. Um and um yeah, I I love the Universal Century stuff. So, you know, so uh, this is something that I actually wanted to get, including the uh Kshatriya, but they they were just too expensive back then. Um, but then I went to Armageddon and I was like, oh, I might as well, like, I'm here, why not? 55 bucks, here you go. And, um, they actually had, like, um, like, a promo, like, you buy one, you get the other one, the next one half price, of course, the, you know, so it's actually relatively cheaper. Um, but I didn't get another one, I got a, um, event exclusive cosmic era strike freedom clear color this is um this is only exclusive to um events um for this year of course it's armageddon and um yeah these are these are uh the clear parts so i the, the one thing i love about this actually let me open this um all the parts are clear right but they're still retaining that gold um uh whatever color for uh, the inner parts or the joints or the hands for the freedom. So, yeah, they look at, if you look at that, they still actually retain it. So, that's pretty unique. And um, I'm actually really excited to build one of these. I haven't built a, mod a single model kit for the last, I don't know, two years, maybe? I, I, I want to say two years. But yeah, that was, um, that was $70. Um, you know, I got a little bit of a discount. Um, you know, because uh, they're my friends and, you know, hook me up and shit. But, um, yeah, that, that was pretty good. Um, next one I want to show you guys is, uh, I actually got a, a mystery box. Before, let's, let's move these to the side. There we go. Let's, uh, oh, I... Destroy the backdrop there. Okay, I'm gonna just put the Batman up there. Um, this is a. Uh, if you can see it, it's too small actually. This is a uh, mystery box from uh, Card Merchant. So it's a forty-dollar mystery box. You can actually, you have a choice of getting a forty-dollar one or a hundred-dollar one. Forty-dollar one has about like sixty dollars worth of merch. The hundred-dollar one has about one fifty worth the merch I want to say but um let's uh, let's open this up and uh let's see what we have inside they're they're, they're they're not they're not heavy but I was told that they at least come with a starter deck and a couple cards you might get a card bundle like a ten dollar card bundle or like rares and commas or whatever um let's see oh okay there we go um so let's just uh oh i got the teal one that i actually use these for my deck so it's actually good that oh, that's nice and i got a couple boosters let me just put this to the side oh there's another booster okay so let's see if these are really worth $60. Um, right away, shout out to Vagabond Games because they actually had like a build your own Gundam. I think you have to buy something um, at the store to to uh, make one, but I built the Strike Freedom. If you can focus, there you go, Strike Freedom. Looks like shit, but you know, it's, uh, it's free, so you know. Can't complain. So this is a uh, Codebreaker starter deck. Uh, roughly a $20 retail value. Um, what's good in this? Um, well, honestly, there's nothing you actually... Well, there's a Link Kuribo. Oh, actually, there is a Link Kuribo, which is 
um, you know, a lot of uh, Thunder Dragon decks are using it. I actually don't have a link card bro yet, so I might actually just open this. Um, what else? Cyber Dragon. I don't know. Yeah, 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, here we have the uh, booster packs that came with it. So, oh shoot, actually. So we got uh, two star packs, two star pack art Vs. These are about three dollars each. Legendary duelist Kaiba, a uh, white uh, white dragon abyss. It's about like five, four or five dollars. Uh, Speed duels. I, I don't even play this. And soul fusion is about like six bucks each. Six, seven. Wait, are they six, seven dollars each? Um, six, seven dollars each. And uh, is it worth sixty dollars? Six, seven. I don't know. I can't do math anymore. But yeah, let's let's uh, let's try to open these. Let's see what we get. 